All right, so here's my uh, ND Miata. Um, I'm gonna talk about the uh, sway bars. So I talked about my Olins, a little review of my Olins. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a review on suspensions. In this case, the sway bar. So let's look at it real fast here. Um, let's see. Oops. What's, up? What's going on with my gimbal there? For some reason it wasn't. Oh, it's not working right. That's weird. Okay, let's see if it's working like this. Okay, so you can see the blue, the blue, blue bar just above center. That's the sway bar right there. Right, it's a Megan Racing uh, sway bar. Uh, so this is my third set of sway bars that I tried. The first one was the um, the Racing Beat, and those ones I had was way too stiff. For street use, you know, you adjust it to the softer setting. It's still, I, I, I felt like I still was still too stiff for street use. Then I tried the Cusco's, and those ones are actually good. I like those. Uh, I think, I think that that stiffness that the Cusco's has uh, should have been what the Mazda uh, should have came with uh, stock on the Miata. Uh, it's I think it's like perfect for street use. Uh, it's it's uh, it's firm enough where it doesn't sway that much, but at the same time it's not so firm where it just complete where the car is completely flat. Uh, then I got this one and and I, what I like about the Cusco's and also the Megan Racing is the bushing, the bushing mount right here. Let's see, I see that. So the bushing mount there, it's uh, it's rubber. You know, it's not part of your thing. If you look at the the sway bars on all the other all other um, all other brands, the bushing is part is polyurethane, and the, the problem with polyurethane is yeah the, yeah it makes it stiffer, but but also it's noisy. You know when they're new and you just freshly grease them, it's, it's quiet. But after a few hundred miles, uh, they kind of lose the grease and they get kind of dirty in there, um, and they start to squeak. And that's just you know for race application that's fine, but for street use, man, that's just way too annoying. I um, so yeah, so so that's one of the reasons why I didn't like the racing beat either because it had the polyurethane bushing, and uh, it did start to squeak uh, after a few hundred miles, and and I don't want to you know I don't want to spend every couple hundred miles re greasing the bushing because that's just too much work. It's like I want to set it and forget it kind of kind of deal, right? So so that's what I like the what really like about the Megan Racing and the uh, and the Cusco's. The bad thing about the Cusco's is that. Um, the Cusco's has a has a um, has no no adjustment. It's just fixed whatever setting it's fixed. So 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 it would have been that I think that's perfect just for like general street use. Uh, it's fine. I thought it was fine for general street use. But you're gonna be like really aggressive street right street driving. Uh, you know, really spirited. Then it's it's a little tad bit on the soft side, but it's it's still fine. I I thought it was fine. Uh, I would have been happy keeping those Cusco's instead of getting these Megans, but but since they weren't adjustable, I I I, I had this itch to uh, to scratch in in uh, seeing how how uh, how uh, you know a different bar would feel. So I got the Cusco's and the Cusco's. Right now, I actually have it set on the firmer setting on both front and back. But if I if I if I set on the softer setting, it'll feel like the uh, it'll feel like the Cusco's or well the softer setting might feel a little bit a little bit softer than the Cusco's. I think if you set one soft one hard, uh, for example, looking at the uh, mount, you really can't see it here. But looking at the mount up in here, looking at the mount up in here, um, yeah, you can't yeah. Dang it, my, my gimbal doesn't. Unfortunately, my gimbal doesn't. Uh, it's not angling up anymore. That's kind of weird. Let's see if I can angle it up more like that. Yeah, it doesn't angle up anymore. But, anyways, uh, where it's mounted up in there, you guys could kind of see it. See the the uh, the hole. There's a bolt where the bolt hole is, and, and past the bolt, bolt hole over there, there's another hole. So, basically, the the uh, Megan Racing only has two, two buttholes. 
for the adjustment in stiffness. So we have two bolt holes, right? But let's say you have to, uh, that your arm, your arm that comes out, uh, well, well, you know, it's the, the, the sway bar is, you know, shaped like a, it's a straight bar across, then, then at the end, it's, it angles, you know, more or less 90 degrees. Then at each end, there's two holes on the, on the, on the, uh, Megan Racing. So the hole at the further end, if you, if you use both holes at the further end, it's the softer setting. If you use both holes on the, uh, 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 closer end, the shorter end, it's it's a stiffer setting. But you use one, one, one where it's farther and one where it's closer. That would be kind of like a middle middle setting right there. So basically, it has three three settings. Uh, at that middle setting, it's probably closer to the cruise coast. Uh, probably just just a tad bit stiffer than the cruise coast. But at the softest setting, it's probably a little bit softer than the cruise coast. Um, so. Um, so yeah, so the the Cusco's is the quality is a little bit nicer. It's ni nicer made than the the uh, Megan Racing. But the thing with the Megan Racing, it, the 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 best thing about it, I think, is the cost. I mean, it's it's like half the price of the Cusco's. Um, and and on top of that, you know, it's adjustable, and you still you're still within the same uh, uh, stiffness range. Um, so, so I could I would have been happy if I just slept the Cusco's and not not, you know, not uh, have the uh, Megan. But the reason why I didn't necessarily switch it back is because you know, each time I took out the 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 old sway bars and put back put in another a new sway bar, it you know it takes up about four hours in total. Taking off the old one and putting in, in a new one takes four hours. So I'm like I don't want to spend another four hours. Uh, and taking the Megan out and putting the Cusco's back, so I sold the Cusco's and and kept the Megan racing, and and which is fine, you know, no big deal. Um, it's not, you know, it's not that the quality of, of the thing is not that that different. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, so no biggie. Um, uh, so, anyways, so performance wise, performance wise, uh, the for street anyways, I think the cruise coast is pretty much perfect. Um, but again, I have my, my Megan set on the stiffest setting for both of them, so they, they are stiffer than the cruise coast. What that does is that for everyday use, that's a, that's too stiff. I think it's too stiff. It's too it makes the ride too bumpy. You know, when, when you when you have two wheels, you know, two wheels, uh, and they're supposed to be independent suspension, the the sway bar is got connected to it connects the two, then then also it becomes less independent because the two are connected now, and the stiffer that sway bar is, the less independent it, it is. Cause so so one when one moves, it kind of moves the other one too, uh, and the stiffer it is, the the more when one moves, the more the other one moves. So uh, so for everyday street driving, uh, at the stiffest the stiffest setting for the for the Megan Racing, I think it's a little bit too stiff. Uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. It kind of makes it. The car, the ride, the, the feel, kind of it kind of feels like a, a truck. You know, it feels like my 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 uh, my uh, pickup truck because of that. If I leave if I leave it on the uh, softer settings, like the mid sex mid setting, or the softer setting, and, and it doesn't, and it's smooth. It's you know, it's a smoother ride, a more comfortable ride. But when I'm driving, like if I'm driving like really fast, uh, in basically going through the mountains, double the speed limit. Uh, Having it softer than that, it's it's. I find that it's a little bit too soft, and when I'm, I'm if there's, I'm doing you know higher speeds, you know double the speed limit, uh, to do the twisties, and I'm if I'm transitioning from one, one to the one side to the uh one one direction to the next, you know in an S turn, you know for example, one then and so on and so forth, uh, on the softer setting, I was noticing that the 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 car would have a little bit of 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 a, a, a floppiness. It's like you know it's like a little bit of wiggleness. And I didn't like that feeling, uh, so when I put it to the stiffest feeling, uh, the stiffest uh, setting on the Megan, that went away. So when I, you know when you're turning this way, that then you know transitioning back and forth, the car stays solid and planted, and it didn't uh, it didn't uh, it didn't flop too much. So I like that better. But at the same time, you know, when you have that, um, it doesn't sway as much either. Uh, it's it kind of just kind of stays pretty fat. It sways just barely, just a little bit, uh, and 
and making it like that, making it more uh, more precise, I guess you could say, more exact, it kind of changed the characteristics of the car. It made it less playful, less uh, um, less fun, basically. It made it more serious. It's like you know, it's like when you're driving, in, say for example, you're driving a Porsche. You know, m you know, a Porsche is like double the price of this car, right? And uh, and when you're driving that due to the twisty, it's everything's very solid, very stable feeling. It feels serious. It doesn't feel playful and joyful. So so the Miata feels very playful, very joyful, you know, stock. But w with with that uh, suspension, uh, with the sway bar, stuff like that, it, it kind of took away that that playfulness, that jo that joyfulness of it. So it made it a little bit more, more serious feeling. So so in that regards, I don't like it as much. Um, so you know, so there's always a trade off. Uh, who knows? Maybe in the future, I might change it back to slightly softer or or the mid the mid range. I might do that uh, and just just play with it just to just to see how how it is. Because um, uh, you know, on especially on longer road trips or on on days where I'm tired, um, having that stiffer setting. It's kind of exhausting, and it's all bouncy and bumping like that. Uh, but when it's a softer setting, it's it's a smoother ride. It's a little bit nicer. It's uh, more comfortable, and it's, you know it's more forgiving. Uh, just uh, just just comfort wise, uh, especially when you're feeling tired and such. Um, so yeah, so that's the sway bars. So for street use, this the Megan Racing is what I recommend because uh, it's you know it's cheap. It's it's like three hundred bucks or something like that, or a little bit over three hundred bucks for both front and rear. And suggestible. It's more you know, at the stiffer setting. It's more than stiff enough for street use. Uh, and at the softer setting, it's still stiffer than factory, uh, factory sways, uh, and it still gives you the fun, joyful playfulness uh, of a Miata. You because know, part of the Miata is that it it could sway a lot, and and, it, and that that, that kind of makes it fun. You know, and it makes it feel faster basically when it's so <coughs> stiff and, and when it's so stiff when the car's so stiff and flat and you're turning and it stays very flat. It doesn't feel as fast, you know. It's uh, it feels kind of slower. Um, um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, so yeah, so I, I for street use, I definitely recommend the Megan. And it, and if you're doing every every once in a while, you're doing like a track day or even art across every once in a while, the Megan is fine. You know, when you set it on the permanent setting, that's 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 more than enough uh, for that stuff. But if you if you're like track focus or art cross focus. Then I would say that the Megan is probably not quite stiff enough. You might want it to be a little bit stiffer, especially higher speeds. You know, track use, higher speed. You probably want it to be a little bit stiffer. Um, uh, autocross, not you know, not not as much of a concern. I don't think, because um, you know, because in autocross, even though your your turn your turns are much sharper, uh, you know, your radius. As you go, it's much sharper, much uh, much smaller radius, but the thing is, the speed is a lot less than than the track. You know, in in autocross, you're never going much more than what fifty, maybe sixty miles an hour or something like that. Uh, probably only fifty or so, so you're not going that fast. Whereas on the track, you know, you 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 could uh, reach triple digit speeds, um, and, and and triple digit speeds in a in a high G turn, uh, it is definitely sway more than. Uh, then uh, I think it is way more than um, than sl slower uh, slower speeds, uh, even though the turn is real sharp. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so so I definitely for sure use uh, Megan Racing is the way to go, just because it's low cost, it it has the range, you know, adjustability that you want more than enough. Um, low cost, the adjustability. And uh, and it has the rubber bushing, so it does. So it's not noisy, so it's not annoying. You know, you don't pushing myself. I don't like all that noise. I like to be as quiet as possible. So, so yeah. So that's that's my thought on the on the sway bars. All right. Thanks for watching.